Hello guys, welcome to a new series on full stack development. In this video, in this series, in this mini series, we're going to build a URL shortener using React.js and React.js style components, Node.js and Postgres. So, well, by the end of this series, this is how our mini application is going to look like. So, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and also smash the like button below. So we use Postgres, React, and Node for our applications. So let's reload. And we have the number of clicks that we noted. Shorten the URL when you click, it takes you to the original URL, which is that. And that's the original URL. You click, you get the same thing as the other one. So we're good with that. Now let's try this long URL. Let's enter it there, click save, and we get the long URL, then the shortened URL, and the number of counts at the right hand side. So that's the original URL. So the same thing. Now let's, um, let's see, reload the page, you see the number of counts change. So this is because we've accessed the shorten your once so we get one count of one and if we access the second time we get count of two so that's pretty much how it function oh. that's it now let's start building our application so we create a folder i'm going to call it post um, url shots now so let's go inside and open our editor. Now inside our editor, let's open the terminal of our editor. And that's it. So we're going to run npm init to initialize our node uh, package. So we have that. I'm going to create it. But before that, let's uh, install our required dependencies which are body parser ex air course express dot env for managing our environment variables shot id for generating the the uh, the hash the hash uh, value for the uh, for the id for the uh, url create a folder called it API inside we have our server I'm going to call the file index.js now that we've installed our dependencies let's install dev dependencies at once which are pg for postgres and sqlice and also let's just add a sqlice cli Now let's import our values and variables and uh, modules. We have the express, we import it. And uh, next we're going to import Logger. Um, let's see, body parser first. Require it. Next, so let's, um, let's install our Logger. That's going to be Morgan. So we import that too. Next thing, short ID. Next, course. That's to deal with the origin, like being able to send requests from the front end to the back end server. So without yet our request will work, our request from the front end will work. We'll be getting some errors. So the logger is just to log the request we make. Just log them on our terminal. It's only used for development purposes. And that's how we connect our calls. Also connect the body parser with the JSON. Mm. 
let's first of all create our, our port and set up the server process.env next we list it to the port and a callback text in error this parameter and if there is an error return the error console log it else you just return the another console log indicating that our server has started good now that we've done that let's go and create our a test endpoint which is just the slash this is just a test endpoint response uh, json and then we have message and our message is going to be um, let's use uh, welcome to my full stack oh let's call it url shortener api good well let's uh let's start our server and then for that let's create the script for starting our server so we're going to need a nodemon for that let's install nodemon as their dependency and we're going to have um, nodemon api slash index.js and this script is going to be there now let's run on let's run our server server is already in use so we're going to change it to we're going to change the port to something else let's say 1000 changes oh let's use a different port let's use 8000 yeah i think that's good now let's go and test and test the endpoint so we have that which is coming from our server it means our server is already up and running let's use postman postman we have that and our server is up and running so that's the work of the logger called morgan that's logger showing us the request we've made let's create a sequelize let's now set up a sequelize with postgres Create a synchronized ROC file. In this file, we're going to set up some basic configurations for our synchronized. So, we're going to import the path from path. Or, I could just copy this and paste them. Yeah, copy it and paste. I'm going to paste it here. So, that's it. We have we've imported the Path and we wanted to create a config.js file inside a config folder create models inside model and uh, inside API it sees us inside API migrations inside API so running that script SQLize inhibitor has created the files for us now this is a JSON file we need to convert it this this is JSON data we need to convert it into 8.js data because the file is a .js, so let's create our .env file to manage our environment variables. And here we're going to have a database URL dev for the development URL. So it's going to be URL dev there. Um, no space. And here we're going to have Postgres column. Um, Postgres and uh, the password our slash uh, out going to have a local host and the port then the database name I'm going to use um, euro shortener that's our, that's our database name that's the database name 
So in our post uh, our package JSON, I'm going to create a script for creating our database for us. So we won't be needing to go and create it on C PG admin. I'm just going to create the script here and so so that if if in case someone pulls it uh, let's say clone this this a uh, repository online he can just run tp setup it will create his database and he will just run his migrations so here i need to change this to use.js to use .js data so uh, i'm just going to paste it here Good. So I just pasted the data. So the name is going to be that. So we have three database: one for development, test, and production. And that's our development database. So here we are configuring our environment variable, making them available in this file. So that we can just access them using the use en variable and we call it database url dev which is our current environment variable so let's create our database by running in uh, db setup this has created our database so if we go to pg admin look we're going to get we're going to see our database let's refresh and that's our database. So this is our database. So back to, let's now create our modules. Let's create our migrations and modules. For that, we're going to use the following script. SQLize db migrate. Oh wait, let's say model generate. Yeah, the name, I'm going to give it a URL. And the attributes are going to be That has created two files for us. That's created our migration and our model. So this is our migration. Has the, uh, the table name. That's it. Then our models. We have that and this. So that's our models with the table columns and table name. So let's go back to our server. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And in the next video, we're going to work on creating the records in the database. On the database, so we're going to work on saving these URLs on the database. And that's all for this video. See you in the next video.